did you wait to network before you had certifications? Did you wait to apply before you had certifications? Do you think it's possible to even get an interview before you have that on your resume? You know, there's so many questions. What certifications did you get? Didn't you get, you know, I'd love to just kind of get some insights into your approaches to it and, you know, how it all played out on your ends. So I, <laughs> I am the, I would call myself the mascot of, um, go ahead and apply without that um, certification um, because I, I still technically, I still don't have my security plus. I'm testing for it um, again in October. Um, I took it and, and didn't pass the first time. Um, but I think what's more important for companies and unfortunately the way th some companies are they want you to have they want you to have the five certs the five years experience and then the degree um some some companies are like that but some a lot of companies will really really value you and take into consideration that you're were at least working towards that certification um and i think i think with my current job that was the mo that was the more important thing is that you're at least working on it. You're training, you're up and coming. Um, so I say, yes, go ahead and apply. Um, you know, be prepared for rejection. Um, it's just, a, it's a natural part of the process, unfortunately. Um, but there are companies I feel out there who are willing to, to support you and help train you up as you work towards work, work towards certifications in your career. So my approach, um, I was working on getting my security plus even before maybe uh, a month before I graduated from Evolve, because like I said, I didn't have any cybersecurity experience. So I said, I think that would give me more confidence if I apply and I would say, okay, I have at least uh, sec, sec plus certification. Um, at least it would give me a boost of confidence once I get there. Um, and I would say it is important. Um, in my experience, I think it did help me land my job because of the sec plus. But again, it would just help you land to that job. But the more, more important thing is what you bring to the table once you get hired because um, they'll find out um, if even if you get the certification and you don't know anything, you're not contributing, you're not giving value. So it's just a big turnoff for the company, right? So in, in our company, certification is big because it would give you more opportunity to also get promoted. Um, I'm working on getting my CISP, um, but when I started in the company, I only had a SEC plus certification and then my mentor advised me to get the network plus because because I thought oh SEC plus is higher than network plus so I don't have to get it. But actually he said he advised me to get it because it's a really good foundational to get that foundational knowledge um, to get deeper in the field, so I did that um, and then he said Okay, so now you're done with those two. get the SISP. And I said, what, uh, am I ready? Because in my mind, CISP is for a manager, right? And um, in my mind, I'm still in the staff position, but he said, no, get it, uh, you can do it. So right now I'm working on studying and pursuing to get the CISP. And it's not just about getting the certification, but also the experience and knowledge. While you're studying, you get that, um, knowledge and also it will expand your vocabulary once you learn those kinds of um, terminologies as well when communicating with your clients. Really quick as, as you jump in, Jeremy, I also wanna to add to it the follow-up question here. How did you choose which certs to go after first? So anyone can jump in, but Jeremy, I'm handing it to you. Uh, well, the way I chose my first cert was because um, Evolve Security actually gave a voucher for Sec Plus, so that's why, that's why I went after Security Plus. But I, yeah, when I came into Evolve or just even breaking 
into the cybersecurity scene. I had no idea what certifications were. I honestly thought that getting the ESCP was like the industry recognized <laughs> certification. That's not true, um, but it's a good start. Um, yeah, the, the test is great. I, yeah, it was, it was a lot of fun, but yeah, uh, Security Plus is a good base to, to start off with. Um, going off of what Mal said, Network Plus as well. Networking is always gonna be a good uh, skill set and uh, a good knowledge base to, to have and to build off of. Uh, but to go back to the original question, um, well, just from my story, I did not have my Security Plus. Uh, when I obtained my my job as a penetration tester, uh, I actually I actually had the test scheduled um, the weekend after they gave me the job offer. So I was like, okay, that actually took a big load off of me because I was like, oh well, whether I get the uh, the certification or not, I still have a job, so that's that's great. Um, but yeah, so I didn't have any certs. I just like Shelby, I actually. Um, I actually failed the first time I took it and that took a, took a big hit to my confidence. Um, but I spent a lot of time just studying up and um, yeah, I actually ended up passing the second time uh, that I took it. Um, so you, you got it, Shelby, don't, don't even trip. You, you'll get it the, the second time around. But yeah, yeah. like you don't need to switch. <laughs> I, I, <laughs> I know that uh, some, I know that some, uh, some companies are, are very cert heavy when it comes to their job description. Uh, apply anyway. You know, like they're gonna give you a technical. Like if you do well on the introductory interview, they're gonna give you a technical interview. They're gonna ask you questions. If you can show that you know your shit, I'm oh, sorry, my bad. You know what you're talking about. Um, <laughs> yeah, <laughs> you know what you're talking about, dude. They're gonna give you. They're gonna give you the job. Like they were asking me a bunch of questions on hacking and um, the different tools and the methodology and all that stuff. And I, I blew them out the water, not to brag or anything, but I did because I put I put my mind to, to it. And those are things that I was studying at that time. So if like, if you know what you're talking about and you're confident about it, like you'll be able to prove yourself in the interviews. And just to just kind of piggyback off that guys, um, just remember um, the worst thing uh, the hiring manager can say to you is, is no thanks. You know, they're not going to berate you. They're not going to call you, you know, you're dumb. You don't know this. No, they're just going to say, uh, maybe not for us. Um, and that's okay. Um, they, they have the right to do that. Um, it is their company. Um, but yeah, just kind of got to learn to roll with um, roll with it. Yeah, they're all too scared of getting sued to say anything, really. So <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Um, I, uh, I also, uh, I think what Mao was saying is really true. Um, I, I ended up, the first cert I got was my sec plus because there was a voucher. Um, and studying for the sec plus was probably more valuable than actually having it to me. Um, learning all of the, the jargon and getting familiar with with all the concepts was really helpful. And that said, I, uh, I actually didn't have any certs, um, didn't have the SEC plus or anything when I ended up getting hired. So I would say you don't need those to start applying to jobs and start networking. Um, yeah, I, I actually still, that's currently my only cert, which is something I want to, I want to work on. I've been studying to take the OCP in uh, hopefully in the next six months here, but um, uh, yeah, it's not the most important thing necessary. And I was also going to piggyback on, I think, something Jeremy said um, about being confident in, in the interview. I was going to add that I actually had a, a, a really good interview one time. They, the technical interview, they, they started out asking technical questions, which I could confidently answer. And they kept asking me what I would do next in a, in a given situation. Um, until I got to a point where I didn't know, I, I didn't know what I would do next after that. And they actually ended up giving me the feedback that they really liked that at that point, I described exactly how I would go about researching what to do next. Um, so just staying confident and giving confident answers and having like the can do attitude really goes a long way in a lot of cases with, with 
a lot of a lot of interviewers.